Welcome everyone back to our let's play of Castlevania. I am Count Dracula. And I am not doing a bad accent. Good. That, that'd be a good idea. Welcome back to our let's play, guys. And I wish I could say things stay happy, but now this is where the game gets hard. Really hard. This is actually the worst level of the game. Uh, because it is the dreaded Grim, Le Grim Reaper level. Yes, guys. The angry video game nerd was correct. Death himself works for Dracula. That was actually one of the coolest things as a kid. You're like, the angel of death works for Count Dracula. This guy is bad. And of course, I'm not really having that much luck, but I'm lucky enough that I am able to keep the holy water to make Grim Reaper super, super easy mode. Yes, I'm going to be cheating a little bit. Cheating bastard. Not in the sense of codes, but I did get the holy water, and the really big goal of this level is to keep the holy water. Mm -hmm. Don't die. And now we have a new enemy, which is actually a very popular one in the Castlevania games, the Red Bone, which is a constantly respawning skeleton. Not fun, especially since if they touch you, they do a lot of damage. And now we come to the second worst part of this level, the knights. Oh look, they can throw axes at you. And apparently I can't get them with holy water to save my life. Just die already! Now people will also notice that I'm not hitting specific candles. It's because I know they drop weapons and I don't want them. I want the holy water. The holy water is good. Yeah, exactly. In the first couple of games, the holy water is like the best weapon they've ever come up with. It's after the NES era where you come into your own preferences. And you almost did a Zardoz reference. I just want to let you know that. Oh, cool. The gun is good. The penis is evil. <laughs> Not safe for work for your family, boys and girls. All right, I'm done now. And we're just waiting for this red bone to go away. Because we don't want to have to deal with him. No, he's back! Now, given that this is your first time to the, to the Castlevania games, Alex, how are you liking the game thus far? Yeah, it looks like it's a lot of fun, but maybe a little on the frustrating side, too. Yes. Well, this this is one of those NES hard games, and so, I, like, if you're a casual player, I would never recommend this game for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, one of the things that actually makes me laugh in this level is you can see all the, the tubes and things like that. This is supposed to be, like, Frankenstein's laboratory, which does get referred to in later games, and you will fight, like, the Frankenstein monster in it, mm -hmm. but not in this one. Nice. I actually like one of the games, I think it was Lord of Shadows that did it, where it was basically saying that uh, the monster, Frankenstein, was actually not the monster that Victor Frankenstein was creating. And so you actually have to fight this really big boss that is the monster. Nice. So it's like, hmm, we put all the blame on the wrong dude. Hmm. All right, last little bit, guys. We're coming up on the dreaded hallway. For those who have seen the Angry Video Game Nerds rant on this, we're coming up to the dreaded hallway. The one where you have to dance your way to greatness. We're accessing a little bit of easy mode because I don't want to work hard. <laughs> work smart, not hard. Exactly. Especially, especially in these games. Okay, so upstairs we go, and now we are at the dreaded hallway. So, this hallway sucks for a couple of reasons. One, Medusa heads. Second, knights. Knights take nine hits to kill. Thankfully, we have the holy water, so they aren't that bad. All I have to worry about, really, is the Medusa heads. Which takes a lot of frustration out of this fight. Or out of this hallway. No kidding. Yeah, because... 
like, if you'd seen the previous tries, Alex, you would be understanding why I want to keep the holy water. All right, now we're going to go into super easy mode. For those who didn't get the holy water, this guy is probably the hardest boss of the game. Mainly because you have to deal with his sides flying around the screen, and I didn't have to because I froze him. And death is dead. That's a little bit of an oxymoron. Yeah. Death is down, so thankfully we are done with the hardest level of the game. Now all we have to do is work our way to his master. You have the map come back up. Now what's actually kind of funny, if people remember in level 3, you can actually see Dracula's tower uh -huh. in it. Now unfortunately I got rid of the holy water, which would have been really helpful in this area. but I'm also playing it really safe because obviously they brought back the vampire bats to make this level just that much harder. But of course. But of course. And I backwards jump because I'm awesome like that. Ooh. It really is just a race to the door. And I didn't win this time. Aww. But that's okay because I will... I think I win this time. And so now we're actually at that point that you could see in level three, where there's this nice little connection to Dracula's tower. We're trying to make our way through to that. And of course, the other trope of Castlevania games, which doesn't really get exposed that much here, is we are also at the clock tower of the castle. The clock tower. Now, where in previous game or in other games, they will have a full on clock tower level. Not so much in this one. Interesting. I know, because, I mean, the clock tower levels are actually some of the funnest Castlevania levels ever. Uh, for for example, uh, for those who love uh, Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo, best, one of the best clock tower levels they've ever done, in my opinion. Now, that's actually one question that people, Castlevania fans, might have for us, is, you know, unfortunately... The first game gets remade a lot. Mm -hmm. And so people might be asking, okay, are you going to go do Super Castlevania 4 because it's a remake? I may make the case that we need to because Super Castlevania 4 is... I, I apparently can't do scares. <laughs> um, Super Castlevania 4 is one of those games that needs to be played. So I may convince Alex that we need to do that at some point. Mm-hmm. Even though it's a remake, it's still worth it to play. The music alone is is what makes it worth it. Because you get a lot of remixes from the from the NES era uh, being done in 16-bit and done really, really great justice. But we'll have to see when we get there. Because right now, I don't know if this is going to branch out into one of our other LPs. It may just stay for the month of October. We'll see what happens. But if you guys want to see us go further in the Castlevania games, let us know. Comment. Because we would love to dig these games out for you. Should we do Simon's Quest? I mean, you know, the angry video game nerd's right. It is kind of a crappy game. Should we do Simon's Quest? Or should we skip it on and go to Dracula's Curse? We'll find out. But in the meantime, we are going to take another break as this special LP for the month of October continues. We'll be back next time to take on the Lord of All Darkness. Count Dracula. <laughs> next time. Once again, I am Drac. I'm Shadow. And we'll see you next time.